Hello and welcome to Fantasy North. My name is Henrik, and today we're painting a Drukhari Ingebrig. We're gonna start out with the contrast paint Black Templar. When painting with the contrast I always recommend having slightly too much paint on your brush and then moving it around as a blob on the model and then removing any excess before the color has dried properly. Also divide the model up in various zones when you paint so for example as you see I might be doing uh, armor plate but leaving the area around it unpainted until the armor plate has dried properly and then starting to paint there. The reason is because the way I paint contrast is that I apply a one thick coat but it, this might cause the model to start pooling and as long as you have sewn them all up the very zones doesn't pool into each other making it a lot more controlled process. Ah, my favorite paint for painting any cloth or plume or anything, flesh tear red. This color does so well on its own and you can just apply it in one coat and it looks amazing. When painting white, you generally just want to apply one coat of Apothecary White. And then I have this mix that is 50% Lamia Medium and 50% uh, Corax White. And just use it to highlight the Apothecary White. If needed, you can use Apothecary White to shade it down a bit and like glaze it and blend it into the white to make a smoother transition. When painting the horns, you really want to keep it simple. Start out with either Seraphine Sephia or Agrax Earthshade. What you want to do is make the shade a bit heavier towards the base of the horn and make it become lighter and lighter the further up you go. Uh, the technique you want to use here is that you start with the brush on one end and then drag the paint down towards the base of the horn, making the paint a bit thicker where you want it to be darker. Then we're gonna do a light dry brush to the horns with Wraithbone. Make sure the dry brush is a bit thicker towards the top of the horn where you want the color to be lighter. When painting any of the metal parts of this model, we're gonna use Basilicanum Gray to shade it down. And when painting metal, you really want it to be really, really contrast heavy, as in we go almost from complete darkness almost all the way up to pure white to make it seem shiny and uh, sort of fool the brain into thinking that it's actually shiny. For any of the bolts etc, just shade it down with Basilicanum and then give it a small light spot with pure white. As always with my gold non-metallics I start out with XP88. And then I add a light spot with either Wraithbone or Pure White depending on what feel I want the model to have. Shade it all down with selective use of Snakebite leather. We're gonna keep it really simple when painting any of the leather straps on this model. Just one layer of wild wood and we're done. When painting gemstones, make sure that you use a really bright color below, like Wraithbone or even pure white. Then use thinned down a dramatic blue to give it the bluish tint that we're looking for and then add a bit of shadow in the top corner of each of the gemstones with Achillean green and then finish off the effect with a small dot of pure white. Ah my favorite part painting eyes. We're gonna paint green eyes and I'm gonna try adding some source light effect to this whole process. What you basically want to do is thin down your warp stone green with a lot of contrast medium. Add pure 
warpstone green to the eye sockets. Add white to the warpstone green in order to highlight the lower parts of the eye socket. You can always add pure warpstone green in the upper part of the eye to correct any mistake you make during this stage. And then finally put a small white sunspot up in the darkest corner of the eye. This really helps to sell the whole um, glass bead effect of the eye. When painting the flayed skin tabard, start out by painting it record flesh, shade it with Karaburg Crimson and then highlight it with flayed one flesh. And now to one of the hard parts, the actual blades. What you want to do here is to first mark the area that you want to be dark with Basilicanum and then highlight to pure white where you want it to be really bright and then glaze the weapon so the transitions become smoother. 